Hi, I'm Hadley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I graduated from Art Center College of Design in August, so that was like seven months ago. I started working at a bookstore and working there has really like rekindled my love for illustration because I'm surrounded by all these beautiful book covers. I like reading, but I realized like I have a hard time sticking to one book and I want to actually like read the books that I start, like finish them. The book that I just finished is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. They put a like circle thing right here that says now it's a TV show and I hated it. Like I like this book cover, it's really cute. But now it has a cat on it. <laughs> this is the one that I'm going to be working on the book cover for and I saw, I found this book on Book Talk. Um, and I had seen it like a few times and I was kind of interested in it but then this one video like the top comment was like this book is the sound like oh I love being a woman and I'm like okay that convinced me and then I bought it the next day <laughs> so. so some of the ideas like this is my original like sketches you can see I have like notes like either slice of cake or cupcake and then i have like i wanted i made a lipstick and i was like i want to put the words memoir probably on the lipstick what i've made so far did this little bra lipstick and this pencil that i haven't cut out yet here i was testing like the colors for the bra i'm gonna scan these and then arrange them in like i don't know procreate or illustrator or something and I just like how when you scan a cutout, it gives a little bit of shadow. So all of these objects are going to be like paper objects in the cover and you can see the little shadow of each thing. I've been using a lot of this pink. Then I've also been using these. This is like my little gouache set that I got in Berlin. So there's one more. Here it is. See, it's like in German mostly. I mean, they have English on here too, but for some texture. Oh, and I've also been using the acrylic gouache. I guess this is Holbein too. I recently did a little shopping. Some coworkers and I went to this bookstore in LA, in Culver City, called The Ripped Bodice. And it's like a romance bookstore. It was really fun going there. They had like a lot of cute stickers and like bookmarks and stuff. And they had like candles for different romance tropes. First one that I got is the Bookish Life of Nina Hill. I was like asking for recommendations and then I pulled this one off the shelf and my friend was like, like she read this and she was like, oh, you would like that. <laughs> so I went with it and I think I will like it because it's about this girl on a trivia team and her trivia enemy is like the love interest. <laughs> because I go to trivia every Tuesday, so. Then I also got A Natural History of the Romance Novel. Uh, I just, I think I actually like nonfiction a lot, so this seemed interesting, because I feel like romance is like often not taken seriously, and I just thought learning about the history of it would be cool. I got this Arthur library card sticker. I put it on my book journal. Recently from Barnes & Noble, I got two books. Uh, David Sedaris, Theft by Finding Diaries, 1977 to 2002, and he was in his 20s when he wrote this, and I'm 23, so I was like, mm. and then like I opened it up, and like one of the first entries was in Sacramento, and that's where my boyfriend's from, so I was like, that's cool, and I just like how like flipping through, you can see their like little just entries, they're like short, and then I also got Just Kids by Patti Smith, um, you know I had to. <laughs> I have also heard good things. Last but not least, I ordered this from Thrift Books because I saw someone on TikTok mention it and I immediately bought it. Oh, and then this is like a little, I got the library card bookmark also from the Rift Bodice. So this is Women in Clothes. It's by Sheila Heidi, Heidi Julevitz, and Leanne Shapton. And when I saw that it was by Leanne Shapton, I was like, oh my god, I have to get it because I have two of her other books guest book and swim studies i think it's called um but they're really great i love the way that she combines like visuals and text and like her own illustrations i'm not that far into it but i just think it's really beautiful and sweet it says 
Women in Clothes is a brilliant and unique exploration of the questions we ask ourselves while getting dressed every day and the answers from more than 600 women. I wasn't expecting it to be this thick. It's a big book. So yeah, that's my little haul. <laughs> Don't know if I showed this yet, but I did some macaroni and cupcake, birthday cupcake. And I just did this like photo, photo booth thing. Don't know how I feel about it, we'll see. And I also did this purse that everything's gonna be coming out of. I'm gonna start scanning everything and putting it in, like arranging it. And then I'll just see like what, what pieces are missing in the composition and go from there, I think. Okay, so I was working on my ideas. I switched it to just getting older and I made a list of things to remind me of getting older. And then one of the ones that I talked about was like bras. Um, because she mentions it in the book, like different stages of her life and like different kind of bras. I feel a lot better. Like I have a way clearer plan. This is just like, cause I drew that one bra. So this is just a little mock up of how it would look. So I finished my book cover. Um, I'm really happy with it. Let me show you. These are the final results. This is the original painting of what it looks like. I went on the computer and fixed the spacing and everything for the final. And I'm gonna show you some mock-ups that I did. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with how it came out. I feel like it's really fun. For a while I was stuck on like doing normal, not handwritten type and it was just making it look like not as fun and it's a really fun book. So I feel like the type needed to match and and then it was also kind of making like a disconnect between the type and the image. So I thought that just doing it all on one piece of paper like the same way would help bring it together and I think it did. Um, I wanted to do bras because they're like personal and the book is the book's a memoir so it's personal and then I just did underwear on the back because to match the bras I thought it was cute so yeah I'm super happy thank you for watching my process on doing this book cover and watch some of my other videos to see me make different book covers thanks for watching bye